With YouTube demonetizing independent media, please consider becoming a patron today for just a dollar per month. Link below. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and I feel like I've beat this topic into the ground. Like, if this topic was a horse, not only would I have beaten it into submission, I would have thrown it in a grinder to make glue. Like, that is how I feel about this subject matter right now, but I feel at the same time, like, this is a video that needs to be, that I need to make. I need to get this off my chest because I do feel that it's relevant to the past six months. So if you've been following my channel, you know I'm not a fan of The Last Jedi. You know that I've called for Kathleen Kennedy to step down on a multitude of occasions. And you know I, I actually enjoyed Solo despite the problems, and you know that I'm still hopeful for the Star Wars franchise. But it still boils down to one key thing, and that is this woman right here. This woman who, for, and I said this before in a video about her hating Star Wars, maybe, is that, you know, she's had her fingers in, in pretty much your childhood. Right. She has. She's had her fingers uh, in Hollywood since the late 1970s in one capacity or another. She She's definitely a smart, intelligent person, but this is not where she wants to be. And I think I think that's known now. It's known, but it's not only that. But other people are starting to catch on. Now, you might have noticed over the course of the past six months that some of us in the YouTube community have been, been very vocal about our, our disdain for, for, for The Last Jedi. And that was met with a lot of, uh, you could call it pushback from people uh, who were trying to claim that anyone who didn't like the movie was essentially a misogynistic troll. Uh, very similar to how the movie bloggers tried to argue that anyone who was critical against Ghostbusters thought the exact same thing, which is not true at all, and that's been proven time and time and time and time and time again. But over the course of the past couple days, Christian Harloff from Collider, Jeremy Johns, and even John Campia have all turned up against Kathleen Kennedy. They have all turned up against her. And it's done in a way, especially in Campia. Campia, you could see it, like, I think it physically pained him to make that video. I think it physically impacted John Campia in a way where uh, he's, he's, I think he's legitimately worried about his relationship with, with Lucasfilm at this point. Now, the thing with, with, with Campia is Campia ha goes to the premieres of like last Jedi and he went to the world premiere of solo. And there's a reason for that. He's good friends with Mark Hamill's son. He's, he's talked about this. That's how he gets in. Right. So that's how Campia goes. So Campia is he's got a little bit of an in with the Lucasfilm crowd. That's how he gets to these particular events and gets to, you know, gets to go to the parties and stuff. And and him coming out and basically going after the head honcho when he's got that connection. And that don't get me wrong, that's a hell of a connection. That is a great connection. I would not want to mess with that if I were him. I would I would be legitimately sweating bullets making that video which is why at the very end of it he sat there and went like no 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 but i still really 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 like kathleen kennedy i just laid out five reasons why she's gotta go like that's what he did that's that's what he did and i give him credit for doing it because i think i think that took a lot out of him to do i i really feel like that took a lot out of him to do and i feel that was that was a big part of it and and uh, i give him credit because it's hard to stand up to something like that when when it's in in this particular case Something you love, your livelihood, it kind of half depends on it to an extent. And as a result of that, you're putting this gigantic, awesome connection in jeopardy. But then again, there's 18 months until the next movie. So everything could kind of blow over from there, right? So he's got nothing to worry about until Christmas next year. And it's entirely possible Kathleen Kennedy won't even be uh, running Lucasfilm by then. And here's here's a reason why I think she might she might uh, walk away from this too. And I, and I didn't talk about this in the other video, but it, it dawned on me after I recorded it. Uh, she's also heavily involved in the Me Too movement and the Time's Up movement. And I think, honestly, that's kind of where her passion is right now, um, is is going for the um, the parody, the 50-50 parody that uh, they want to do for 2020. And uh, I think that's distracting her at this time. I think that's kind of come in um, and that's been taking over a lot because she's, like I said, heavily involved in that. But then again, there's no other Star Wars movie until 2019, uh, and they start shooting, you know, uh, Indiana Jones a, a year from now, right? So what's Lucasfilm doing in the meantime? Legitimately, what is Lucasfilm doing in the meantime? The only thing Lucasfilm is doing is John Favreau's Star Wars sh uh, show set on for the Disney streaming service coming out next year, and they're writing books. 
That's it. So right now, when it comes to like, when it comes to solo and the box office flop, which I really hate that it happened. It's even looking to pull in only 30 million this weekend. But with that, <laughs> with that, uh, this is the this is the time when she's like wounded. You know what I mean? This is like this is when she's wounded, and it could turn into like a real Caesar moment, if you know what I mean. Uh, it could end with 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 you know like George Lucas showing up and being the one who de- delivers the final blow, and she's like et tu, George et tu. So so you've got that. You got Campia coming out and talking against. And Jeremy Johns did a whole video uh, ragging on Star Wars uh, uh, I, with with a good reason. And as as well as calling out Kathleen Kennedy, because ultimately it does boil down to this. The the buck does stop with her. The buck stops with her. Now, Jeremy Johns, he lives in Seattle. He's, you know, like tangentially connected to a lot of this stuff now, but he's not he's not in the thick of it anymore. But he's still a big name. Over a million subs comes out, talks about this, gets a lot of views, gets people talking about it uh, in a way that's not quite, let's say, red leader media um, where they're going to end up ultimately, you know, kind of shitting on the movie through half in the bag. But that's kind of what they do. And this is, you know, commentary. This is a diehard Star Wars fan coming out and saying this. Christian Harloff, very similar stuff here. So um, it does really make you look at the situation and and see that the tide uh, is in fact turning, that the tides are are, are, are changing, things are things are kind of going a different direction, and it might just be because you have the situation with Solo being in the financial predicament it currently finds itself in. Uh, if the movie would have grossed, you know, 300 million or whatever in its opening weekend, or if it would have crossed 125, if it would have met expectations, then she would not be in this position. And I guarantee you, Campia wouldn't have made his video and, and Jeremy Johns probably wouldn't have made the video and everything else. But there is clearly something rotten in Denmark when it comes to, to, to the way that Kathleen Kennedy has led uh, Lucasfilm. And w- my question, though, my, my question in, in this particular case uh, is how much of what is going on um, is her fault versus how much is being put out there by, by Alan Horn and Bob Iger? How much of what Star Wars is doing right now is their direction. And and that could ultimately be what this boils down to, where Kathleen Kennedy finds herself in this position where she is the president of Lucasfilm. You know, she was personally handpicked by George. She said, our job here is to to hold the, you know, to protect these characters, but she's continued to make these, these changes and allow these decisions to happen. Colin Trevorrow uh, being fired for, you know, for, for apparently arguing with her over um, how the, the, he wanted to do episode nine. And of course with Luke Skywalker, and he made that abundantly clear in his little his little post about sharing his story idea with Luke Skywalker. I did do a video on that um, when I feel like that's a big part of it. So, so you got you got all that. And then I'm wondering if if Bob Iger and, and Alan Horn have been like, well, we want the nostalgia. The nostalgia is where it's at. Nostalgia is big right now. Stranger Things being as big as it is, so on and so forth. And they're kind of setting her up to fail. Because even though the fans don't want this to go forward, the fans would rather have this go to the go, go move forward, not go to the past. Unless they're going Kotor, and then that's perfectly fine. But they, they might want to go back, and she may not want to. And so this is maybe where she finds herself. But at the end of the day, I'm and I'm trying to I'm trying to maybe look at it from a maybe a different perspective, an altered perspective, to to you know just because I feel I I feel we should. But at the end of the day, the buck stops with her. The, the the buck entirely stops with Kathleen Kennedy. There's no other person who's at the top of that company than her. This this is a company that uh, that you know for the longest time has been like you know Star Wars and then Indiana Jones and then you know you got you got Howard the Duck. You got you got Willow. You know they did Lucas Arts. Bring back Lucas Arts. God damn, give us a Maniac Mansion movie, right? Give us. A- <laughs> You know, give us give us uh, Indiana Jones and the and the fate of Atlantis into a movie, or just re-release the damn game. You know, I mean, like they could do so much more, but their focus is clearly Star Wars, and that's why I did the video. Kathleen Kennedy hates Star Wars because I feel that ultimately, at the end of the day, she's now uh, forced into this predicament, uh, forced into making these movies that I don't think she wants to make. But now everyone is 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 now against her, and she had to have seen this coming. She had to have seen this coming. And it's entirely possible that she is also excited for this. Now, this is a theory. 
she could be excited for this because this could help signal her exit, right? Now, it's going to take more than one flop with Star Wars for Bob Iger and Alan Horn to, to oust her, right? That's take way more than one flop. But she could use this as an opportunity to step down. Uh, it all depends really on how uh, people in the mainstream movie journalist side of things uh, start taking it. Now, I've seen a couple little articles pop up that discuss this a little bit. I've seen a couple little things pop up that have kind of tangentially touched upon the subject, but we're not seeing the LA Times come out and, and make this claim. We're, we're, we're not seeing Deadline. We're not seeing Slash Film. We're not seeing these, these websites come out and make this claim. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that they don't want to be the ones who are going to jeopardize their career their relationship with Lucasfilm and Disney in order to come out and make this claim. Which is one of the reasons why that I know uh, people have given Campia some shit over this, and I feel like what he did essentially uh, worked for him because it, you could see that was, a, that was a hard thing for him to do. But he agreed. He, he put out a good argument that it was the right call. The, the divide between the fans is, is greater now more than ever, as evidenced here on YouTube, 100%. Um, and Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and social media in general. And uh, she's done nothing to curb that. She's done nothing to come out and make statements that uh, she's there for the fans. Uh, she's been silent on the issues. Uh, she's had director turmoil after director turmoil after director turmoil. There's no clear vision for where they want to go. There's 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 no clear vision for, for even what they've done necessarily. I mean, people have complained, oh, you know, like, uh, it, it's we've had so many Star Wars movies. Are you never heard about this with Lucas? See, but Lucas only did six movies, right? Six movies over the span of like decades. We've had four Star Wars movies in the past three years, two and a half years. If you really think about it, two and a half years, four movies. That's two thirds of what Lucas produced over over a few decades. So it might be people just not used to it yet. And Disney is all about franchises, tent poles, all those sort of things. And so if she's not the one leading the charge, trying to take it to the next level and trying to be with the fans, then uh, then it is time for her to go. And I do uh, fully support more people coming out and making the claim. I, I just want people to treat it uh, very from a respectful position. This is a business thing. This isn't a personal issue. I have no personal beef with Kathleen Kennedy. You might. I don't. But I don't think that her management style, I don't think that her leadership was the right call for this. But if she was handpicked by George Lucas, there might have been a reason for that. That could have been the fact that he knew she was going to fail and this is just his way of giving a middle finger to Disney while, you know, enjoying his billions. Because something he wasn't really wanting to continue working with anyway. Uh, and he could have set her up to fail. Who knows? It's been six years almost. So uh, we, we won't know until, again, all the dust is settled. So, look, this is a long rant. If you've been to this point, awesome. I just want to kind of end this by saying, look, I love Star Wars. I like the new movies. I, I, I the, the Last Jedi notwithstanding. So three out of the four I've enjoyed. But there are clearly problems. There are clearly issues that need to be addressed. And she's not addressing them. She's not doing anything to reassure fans. And and that is why there is a, a lack of trust in the community. That's why there's a lack of trust in the fandom. That's why there's so much division, so much negativity, so much animosity, because there is no one there that's trying to bridge that gap and trying to remind people this is Star Wars. This is gonna everything's gonna be okay. We're working on making the best that we can. Star Wars is now a gigantic machine, one that is bigger than quite frankly anything that I think people really expected out of Star Wars for quite some time. And uh, now everyone's against Kathleen Kennedy. And if this is if she wants out, now is her time to gracefully exit. And that ultimately is going to be the best for, I think, her career. Probably her sanity. And most definitely Star Wars. But be sure to leave your comments below. I know this ran on a little bit longer. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, be sure to leave your comments below. They should be interesting. And if you haven't already, please thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. Check back often for more content from me. My name, of course, is Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Book Theater. You guys have yourself a fantastic day. And peace out.